Why your whole speed? Why the whole speed? I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm terrified. Watch the fucking spin. <laughs> Welcome to or back to my YouTube channel. Today we have a very exciting video because we are joined with the Vasquez twins, Marcus and Vincent. <laughs> guys. And Franklin. Today we are going to be showing you guys the 10 best hacks for pumpkin carving because it is already that time of year and we're gonna learn how you can make the best pumpkins without making a huge mess. Okay. Let's do it. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> So let's clear our space and grab our pumpkins. So our first hack might seem self-explanatory, but I don't feel like I ever did this as a kid, and that is putting down a tablecloth that you can just throw away after. So there's no mess at all, you can just wrap it all up. Did you guys use a tablecloth as a kid? I don't think so. No, uh, and actually we never really <laughs> carved pumpkins. <laughs> really carved pumpkins. Really? Yeah, we weren't really the type to carve pumpkins. When we were in high school with our friends, they were white. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I they brought us to their garage and we yeah. carved pumpkins. And we put newspaper, that's what yeah, we did. Oh, newspaper. Yeah, that's newspaper. Well, we don't get newspapers these days. So. Which is honestly more of a mess because like you have to split it. Yeah. yeah. And then it seeps through the cracks. Yeah. This is this is easy. You know, one sheet and done. I think it's better if you can probably use like a paper one because then you can at least like compost it all, but we don't have that today, so we're gonna be doing plastic. Perfect. Bring in the pumpkin. <laughs> oh my god. So traditionally, you usually cut the pumpkin from the stem, but because I don't have a stem, I'm gonna cut my pumpkin on the bottom. So, which is hack number two. Which is hack number two. Emily gave me this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. <laughs> it's starting to punch this angle, like a 45 degree angle. Yeah. You know. guys really haven't carved pumpkins. No. You don't want to make your circle too small because you have to be able to reach in and pull all the guts out, remember? So oh, true. make your hole a little bit wide. Wide holes be wide holes. Oh, this is a lot of work. And you can't, like, fuck up because once you take it out, it needs to be able to fit. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I've, I've... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Well, I've been the, the... I bent my knife. How's it going with cutting the bottom? It's, it's okay. Just focused. Oh, shit. You No. <laughs> Vince is already done. Oh. No. Like we need to use the real knife. Yeah, use the real knife. It's fine. Okay, clearly hack number two is already mm. a little bit more simple. Hack number two, pretty easy. Can you but finish? we got a lot of work to go getting all that stuff out. So. Can you finish cutting mine so we're at the same page? Emily needs help. Thank you. Look at that. Ooh, that is perfect. Ooh, Ooh spooky. This is the inside of our pumpkin. Ew. <laughs> mine is like. <laughs> Throw away the bottom of his pumpkin because you don't need it. That's the whole point of cutting open the bottom. And Marcus and I obviously need to do some cleanup. So now we're going to clean up our pumpkins just a little bit and then move on to the next hack. So we're supposed to like cut this part off. Oh, I just see. Know that. Not like too much, but you can just like the hairies. The good thing about this tablecloth is I just don't even have to be careful because there's already stuff everywhere. Okay guys, so the next thing we're going to test out is hack three and four with the uh, blender um, and then also with the ice cream scooper and I'm going to use the traditional, um, I don't know where you get this, I think it's just like the... Just the carving kit, the like carving the scraper. Kits. Yeah, so we're going to see which one's better to like, you know, scoop out as fast as possible. <laughs> <laughs> okay, step one, plug it in. That uh, is maybe a con. You have to have a nearby outlet. And I don't want to see scared. <laughs> I'm scared. We're gonna see <laughs> I'm terrified. Watch the Fastest. pumpkin spin. <laughs> Watch me okay. break my hand mixer. Yeah, okay. 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 Hacks three and four. Let's see what works best for okay. the traditional route. Is it working? I can't tell. I can't see anything. I feel like I'm getting run through the guts. I'm gonna do my first dump and see what happens. Oh, nice. I'm not gonna lie, guys. It's pretty easy. With the scoop. With the scoop. It's like pretty easy. I will say an early on problem that I have noticed is 
my hand mixer doesn't reach the complete bottom of this. So I can only get the walls. But where I can reach is looking pretty smooth. Am I allowed to also use a spoon no. to scoop up what it's breaking <laughs> in the bottom? Nope. You gotta use your hands. You gotta use your hands. Well, I definitely shouldn't have worn white. That's gonna be the first half. Where you're like throwing clothes. It's gonna get messy. Yeah, like it's breaking a lot up, but then yeah, it's just it's all like staying in the there. bottom. If so you need a scoop, I have a scoop. Something is um, probably needed. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Let me also mix in a little ice cream scoop. Yeah, this ice cream scoop is ass. <laughs> is it bad? Yeah. Oh no, that's the other problem. Look how it collects all the. Uh, yeah, you might have to unplug it. Yeah. Oh, shit. I might not be able to get these back in now. Yeah, it is like it's stuck like all the way around. Oh. It. Yeah, this hack might be a little bit more tricky than they make it to seem. I bet they had a medium company. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've got a big boy. <laughs> yeah, um... You guys want to look at mine? Yeah. What the heck? Oh my god, that's so fast. <laughs> I'm still scooping. Literally clean. Like, okay, mine is... There's literally nothing in there. I'm going to be the first to admit that hack number three, the hand mixer, I mean, is, is not fine. doing it for me. I mean, it's not like the cleanest because yeah, it's so stringy, too. but I think with the scooper... The scooper is good because you actually get the skin. Like, it's peeling the, the yeah, skin like, off the, skin. the inside. And I think because it's it also has, metal. Yeah, it's the metal. Yeah, a metal, because the plastic it's the metal. won't suck. Plastic won't do it. Like, I keep making Look little at spaghettis. Mine. I do think the part of the scooper is the best method. I agree. Yeah, this, I mean, this is great too, but I think if you don't have it, your next thing would be the scooper. Yeah, something that you just already have at home. Oh, come on. So, this is the mixer pumpkin, and this is what is being left. <laughs> yeah, that's not, not ideal. See the ice cream scoop? It's doing its job. Perfect. Okay, after scooping out all the pumpkins, I think it is everybody's final decision that hack number four, the metal ice cream scoop is the best option for perfectly scraping your pumpkin. All right guys, so we finished all of our pumpkins and I think mine's best, but actually mine. <laughs> mine did not do well. <laughs> now we're gonna move on to hacks number five, six, and seven, I believe, which are gonna be using a dry erase marker to write out what you're gonna carve and be able to erase it at the end, using cookie cutters for carving and using a drill. So we're all gonna try a different hack and see what works best. So I only have a pumpkin and a spider cookie cutter, so I'm gonna go for a spooky pumpkin spider vibe. <laughs> what are you gonna make? I think I'm gonna make a spider. Okay, traditional. <laughs> Vince, what are you doing with the drill? I'm just drilling holes. <laughs> They're stars. The They're gonna be night. stars. But well, I'm gonna make a, a moon. Okay, uh, moon. So I'm gonna see what's up. Star one. <laughs> cutting some lines so that when the light reflects out there's like maybe some stars because I don't want to just drill holes and they're right. just holes but how easy was it to do the holes uh, pretty easy actually which is kind of nice so everything else is just kind of cosmetic cosmetic yeah this I will say is a little bit tasking on the arm here maybe I need a better mallet do you see it on the other side only the bottom <sighs> yeah I don't know about this so right now I'm carving out a moon with the drill. And actually it's pretty nice. <laughs> so far, that's what. I have not made any progress with my little cookie cutter. It's just stuck in the pumpkin. I'm thinking my pumpkin may be too thick. Okay, so I messed up my eyebrows, but luckily with the dry erase marker, you can kind of restart uh, your little style. So he was first happy, but now I want to make him kind of mad. So I put these little triangular marks so that I can cut out the 
this piece is. But it looks pretty good so far, Yay. so I'm pretty happy. <laughs> Wow, that was really easy. <laughs> awesome. Look how perfect that is. Frank is terrified. <laughs> <laughs> you know how you do it. Okay, you got it. Wow, look at this one. I'm so good at carving pumpkins. <laughs> so good. Cute. Yay! Yay! I will say it gives you perfect shapes, which I would never get by freehand. So those were hacks five, six, and seven. Um, I think the best one is probably just carving it by hand with a dry erase marker, but... I think the drill is pretty nice. <laughs> if you're going for a circular look, <laughs> the drill works too. Oh, nice. Whoa, your mood is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the cookie cutters look really good in the end, but... It's a lot of work. Yeah, I think the easiest one was just... Pump carving. <laughs> yeah. I just think easiest one was just this tool or a knife and a dry erase marker. Yeah. I'd have to just create it, yes. and you can be more creative. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay guys, to wrap this up, we're now going to do hacks number 8, 9, and 10. We're all going to do all three of these. First one, hack number 8, is going to be using Vaseline or like petroleum jelly around the edges of your pumpkin where you cut. Obviously, as you guys know, if you've carved pumpkins before, they go rotten and they go old and they start to stink and this apparently makes them last longer. The next hack is to put cinnamon in your pumpkin. You pour cinnamon in and rub it all around the pumpkin. And that apparently makes it smell like pumpkin pie. So we'll see when we light these up how it smells. And then finally, using reusable lights. So obviously, whenever you're putting real candles in your pumpkins, they melt, they go bad, they run out, whatever. So we have a few different options of reusable lights we're gonna try. And so that way your pumpkins last as long as possible. Okay, I'm gonna start with yeah. the cinnamon and just, I guess, give it a little pour around my pumpkin. That's too much. And I'm going to use a paper towel and kind of rub it around I'm in there. on top. So smart. Because I want to get the Vaseline already. I'm just going to be generous. It a generous amazing. amount. That was really it. It smells like the Polar Express. It does smell really good, I will say. To rub it into the pumpkin. Oh, with a napkin? Or your hand, but I'm, cho I'm choosing no, like, no hand. Okay, I might do the hand. I'm going to put some on the top of mine like you did, because that's smart. Okay. I'm just going to pour my in. I'm going to do the Vaseline now, put it around all my cookie cuts, as well as the roof of my pumpkin. I think Franklin smells it. <laughs> the good thing I will say about the cookie cutter is this Vaseline part's pretty easy, and the cuts are very smooth and direct. I'm going to put some Vaseline on my lid too, just to avoid it getting rotten and seeping through. Oh, you use way more cinnamon than me, <laughs> after cinnamon shaming me. Again? That's too much. We can't help it, this smells so good. Yes. There's some Right. Yes, I'm ready too. Oh, I was really getting into the massaging. <laughs> Marcus and his pumpkin are having fun. <laughs> let, me be, a connection. let me be. Let me be. Never have too much Vaseline, moisturize. Even for fruits. If you guys don't moisturize your fruits, I don't know what you're doing. Bad fruit owner. Yeah, bad fruit owner, honestly. And you've got your cinnamon Beautiful. inside. Cinnamon inside, um, moisturized outside. Wait, no, it smells so good <laughs> in here. We've got our cinnamon pumpkins and our moisturized edges. <laughs> okay guys, now for the final hack, which may be the most obvious of all for some people, is to use reusable candles. So we're gonna go ahead and put those in our pumpkins. Marcus and I are gonna use these little guys. We can use two each. Yeah. So that they're super bright. I'm gonna use the string with a- Fairy lights. Makes it dry. So we've got these little tea lights here. They're fake. And we're gonna <laughs> yes. put them. My hands are too... <laughs> oh, moisturized. <laughs> yeah. If you guys don't moisturize your fruits, I don't know what you're doing. I'm gonna put these in our pumpkin. And yeah, Vince is doing fairy lights and putting them in the jar, which is so cute. And since the bottom is open, he sets it right on top. Let's take you somewhere darker to show you the final product. Okay guys, we're in the bathroom. <laughs> and it's, a, it's very hard to tell. I'll show you guys another clip tonight. But this is my pumpkin with the cookie cutter. Vince's lights, the fairy lights, is incredibly bright. So I think that that's probably like the brightest option. And then Marcus's. <laughs> so I hope you guys like how our pumpkins turned out. Obviously some hacks were better than others, but I think we all learned a lot here. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next week. Bye guys. Bye. This is a pumpkin. 
this is a pumpkin. Should we put it in a skin? The question is, who created the name pumpkin and why categorize this as a pumpkin and not this? Because this is an apple. What if we call pumpkins about? apples? Well, you feel like an apple. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's Yeah. Are you sure you want to do the Broncos? Yeah. Are you sure you want to do the Broncos? Are you sure you want to do the Yankees? Oh, yeah, that's right. Funny. I think you fantasize a. a <laughs> I fantasize a you what? You fantasized a good dream or. No, a, I did not fantasize a good dream. Yeah. I fantasized a real life. Break it up, break it up. Like words to get to the point. <laughs> really? Hey guys, so traditionally. Don't say hey guys, we were, we're oh, already. Alright, right, 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 right. Is that a hockey? Oh, he's using it too. Does he actually? Yeah, he does. He's just kind of. I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> really? Because I feel like you try. <laughs> it's it's yeah. not about the size, <laughs> <laughs> the motion of the ocean. <laughs> Is that, is that level? Yeah. I need yeah. that like TikTok filter. Be bad, bitch. <laughs> Don't fuck the fuck. <laughs> Look, you already fucked it up right here at the corner. No, listen, dude. Listen. <laughs> wow, it's so easy. That was awesome. I swear, all of my hacks were the hardest. I yeah. don't just give up easy. I was hammering this thing for like as long as they finished their complete. I, I like on the day they moisturize my apples. Sometimes the bananas. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> this is inappropriate. Why ain't gonna work?